MLB Network's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. Tonight, the second of four between the Chicago Cubs and the Washington Nationals. It's baseball on MLB Network, and it's coming up next. Anibal Sanchez will be on the bump for game two of the series. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, you can't always judge a pitcher by the numbers. I know the ERA is into the fours coming into this start, but he's actually a pretty solid pitcher. And every once in a while, he can throw some decent games in there. It's not easy having an ERA under four in baseball. He's slightly over that, but this guy's a better pitcher than that ERA indicates. And that finds its way through for a base hit. Boy, so frustrating as a pitcher. You make a quality pitch on the inside half of the plate right there. You try to bust him in, Dero, and he fights it off the other way. Yeah, you tip your hat to the pitcher right there. He executed his pitch, but nice job by the offensive player fighting. It doesn't matter what it looks like. A knock's a knock. Anthony Rizzo stands in now. Lifetime against Donibel Sanchez. He's just two for 12. From the belt, kicks and deals. So, guys, these Nationals, as they enter play here tonight, despite the loss last time out, they'd won four in a row, so they'd been on a nice little roll here. Yeah, Maddie, they lost last game only by one run. Those are the tough ones. But I'm sure they've looked at the film, made a few adjustments, and let's see if they can give a better effort today. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. And the off-balance throw beats him at first, and that's a tough play. With that, a look at the oh, Cubbies yeah. starting lineup. What do we need to know about these guys for this evening's matchup on the road, Dero? Maddie, this lineup is built on one thing, and that's moving the ball over the fence. This is a station to station team. Not a lot of speed in this lineup, but they don't need much speed when they're moving traffic to both gaps. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Well out in front of the breaking ball there for a strike. Now that's when you know it's a good pitch. He broke off a really nice breaking ball down in the zone right there. And even though this is one of the best hitters around, he waved right through it. One and one the count now. From the belt, kicks and deals. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. Time for a look at the umpires working this one. Behind the plate is Daryl Parker. Well, Dero, Daryl Parker behind the dish, and you never really know what you're going to get from this guy. Yeah, sometimes, and I'd hate to be mean and say he flips a coin back there because that's not the case. But as an offensive player, you have to find a consistent zone. You just can't. Cubs shortstop with a three and one count. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. And I believe they'll say he broke the plane as, yes, he did. It's ruled a strike. Bryant leads off second with one gone in the inning. Now a half swing, but it's strike three anyway, says the home plate umpire. And that's out number two. Man at second here with two away, and that'll bring up the left-handed hitting Kyle Schwarber. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Committed to that one a bit too soon as it locks him up for strike one. Two-out base runner aboard in the top of the first. One and one to Schwarber. Hit sharply on the ground. Up with it now is Kendrick. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. So they get a man to second here in the top half, but he's stranded there. And now the Nationals get their first opportunity. No score. 
Kyle Hendricks is the man towing the rubber for the Cubs in this one. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, Kyle Hendricks is not one of these overpowering guys. He's a little bit, he reminds me of Greg Maddox. He's 88 to 91 with really good sync, great straight changeup, and has the slurve. Not a true curveball, not a true slider. The key to Kyle Hendricks, inducing early contact. The more pitches that hitters see, the better chance they have to hit on him. If Kyle Hendricks is on, you'll know early he'll be getting a lot of quick outs. First delivery to him on the way. Skied into straightaway right. Hayward has a read on it, and he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Batting second. And a look now at the hometown Nationals starting lineup. What's the key for a home victory tonight, d -Row? Yeah, you take a look at this lineup they're running out today. And they got their work cut out for them with the sinker baller on the mound on the opposition side. They're going to have to see the ball up. They're going to have to work the home plate umpire. Can't be given four to six inches off the inside half or he's going to have a field day pounding that sinker in there. Should be interesting to see right out of the chute if he's got the good one or not. One out, nobody on. Counts even at one and one to Victor Robles. Well, guys, as we look at the Cubs coming into play here tonight, they've been playing better than 500 baseball of late, five and three in their last eight games. Yeah, Matty, this team is starting to really come together. They won last night. They're playing really nice. I expect much more of the same today two pitch mix here if you're in the batter's box you're looking for something up there's a swing and a ball hit in the air and a ball that he got every stitch of as that one without a doubt is gone Victor Robles leaves the yard with a solo shot first home run of the campaign for him and they've taken a one run lead We always talk about how important it is to spot your starter or run it to early in the game, and he does just that, blasting a no-doubt bomb that serves notice. They're going to be swinging with the wood here. No better way to get the home crowd into it right out of the gates. So the bases are empty with one man gone, and that'll bring up the dynamic bat of Juan Soto. Not where you want the changeup, but he gets away with it for a strike. Ooh, that's a good pitch to take a hack at right there. Change up up of the zone. Eh, he'd like to have that one back. And there's a line drive. Base hit to left field. Dan, as a former pitcher, are you privy to this guy? I mean, he's been swinging a bat well. I know it's only April, but he's been using the entire field, staying line to line. That's what makes it so hard as a pitcher when you can't go one way when you pitch a guy in. He pulls it. When you throw it away, he hits it the other way. He's having that ability right now just to be able to get the barrel to it, and he's having a real strong beginning this season. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. Good pitch there on the inside black called the strike. Now the 0 2 pitch. That's a ball. Definitely not what you're trying to do here. 0 and 2 with a curveball. You see a lot of guys elevate a fastball like that in this situation, but a curve like that is just asking to get punished. Runner at first here, one man out. Fly ball out toward right field. Hayward has a read on it. He's got it, and there are two down now. Batting fifth. The catcher, Kurt Suzuki. Now in the box, Kurt Suzuki. He was hitless in the shutout last night. From the stretch, here's the pitch. A runner on first with two away. Fouled off. Open to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Again, he sends it out of play. And 
And now he'll foul this one off as well to fall behind here. No balls and two strikes. And it's fouled away. The 0-2 once more. Back up the middle and in for a base hit. And this will get all the way to the wall now. Soto blows through the stop sign, headed for home. He'll score easily as they extend their lead to two. I guess their scouting reports on this guy were dead on because it's already 2 nothing in the early going, and they're having absolutely no trouble seeing him here. On the other side, they're very quickly looking at a game that they're going to have to fight back in. So striding in, Starlin Castro. And he's seen his numbers on the rise here over the last five games or so. Too high, 1-0. And that's inside and a bit low anyways. It's 2-0. When hitters are able to lay off curveballs and get themselves into good counts because of it, you're in pretty big trouble as a pitcher. A lot of guys run. Really... This ball's down, and that could bring in a run. And now it'll rattle up against the wall. He pulls into second safely, as also on the play, a run comes across to score. When he started this game, Giving up three extra base hits in the opening frame was not what he had in mind. He could still settle down and turn things around on the mound, but the way it's going right now, this has the makings of a start he's going to want to forget. As Drupal Cabrera is in with two away as he takes a ball, 1-0. Three runs already home here. Pulled toward right center field. Hayward has a read on it. And that's the third out. So three runs on four hits. No errors and a man left on. We move ahead to the top of the second now. It's the Nationals three and the Cubs nothing. Leading off the inning, Victor Caratini, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Check swing, but he held up in time. Ball one. Love the early lead, but this game is far from over. Got to stay on top of what you're trying to do out there and execute pitches. High in the air out to center field. Robles waits on it. He's got it one away. That is Time for a look at the curly W on D. And guys, one thing I want you to focus on today when you look at this team on the defensive side of the ball, they're in the top five in fielding percentage. They go about their business a certain way. They make all the routine plays, mix in a few flashy ones, and day after day, they give their pitchers the best chance to be successful. Ball one, well below the zone. Hayward or often just Jay Hay. He was selected in the first round back in the draft of 2007. Yeah, Matty, they certainly got it right when they drafted this guy. He has turned himself into an absolute superstar. Everybody knows this guy's name, and kids are buying his jerseys. 1-1. Uh, one, one. To two balls and two strikes now. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. Well, I'm glad we get another look at that beauty of a pitch right there. You can't spot a sinker in a better location because even if you do get the bat on the ball, there's not a whole lot you could do with that. Textbook sinker. So here's Albert Almora next. As he'll swing and pop it up toward the left side of the infield. And Cabrera will make the catch to retire the side. Three up, three down for the Cubs. They trail it here, three to nothing.
Last half of the second set to go. Here's Ryan Zimmerman now. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. Swing and a screamer, but this one's not going to stay fair. The windup and the 0 1. Hit on the ground to third. And there's one down now. So here's how the Chicago Cubs are positioned defensively. And let's focus on Anthony Rizzo. Not only a gold glove winner, this guy has won a platinum glove, bailing out his infielders time and time again with his soft hands and feel for the game. At the plate, Anibal Sanchez. As he'll try to hold back on the swing, but he went around for the first strike. Bases are empty, one man out. Here's a fastball at the knees. Good spot, good pitch, and it's 0-2. One and two to the Nationals pitcher. Man, the pitcher let the guy off easy right there. That 0-2 pitch wasn't even close. I'd rate that as a non-competitive pitch. And he fouls this one off. Here's the one and two delivery. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Left fielder is on the move. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. Now that the second baseman. Into the box now. Howie Kendrick. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Left fielder giving chase. He's there to make the play, and that'll retire the side. Three up, three down for Washington. They lead it three to nothing. Plate, David Bodie, and he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. First pitch of the at bat on its way. There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. Fouled away. One one home is laid off for ball two. All even now two and two. The pitch lofted in the air out toward right center. Eaton is under it. Looks it into his glove and there's one gone. And with that, we give you a look at what's happening in the NL East race. So one away here with the bases empty. And the pitcher, Kyle Hendricks, will be the next to bat. Lined but speared on a hop. On to first, and Sanchez has got it working now. There are two away. Up next for the Cubs, the third baseman, Chris Bryant. So it's back to the top of the order now, and that'll bring up Chris Bryant. First pitch of the at bat. Nope. Kind of a surprise not to see a fastball in the first pitch there. The guy's probably taking at least one pitch to give his pitcher a chance to sit down after he already made the second out. 
One ball and one strike to the Cubs leadoff batter. Bases are empty here with two men out. And this one's chopped foul right at home plate. The one two. Two balls, two strikes. hit the other way out toward right field. Eaton is there and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Cubs are down in order. Still down 3 nothing. Bottom of the inning now. Now with the plate, Victor Robles. And he's off to a hot start in this one. Homered his first time around. The pitch. home count now a ball and a strike not surprised he's laid on a heater right there just saw an off speed pitch wanted to stay back a little bit too long oh, had him off stride that time and it's one and two man that pitch had the look of a fastball straight change up and the bottom fell out of it set to deal on a ball and two strikes Fouled off. Hey, last two pitches back to back off speed. Then he's laid on the fastball. He could pretty much do anything he wants right here on the mound. That misses, and we're even at two and two. So you'd love for him to offer at that one, but the execution was flawless. Nice curveball that starts in the zone and breaks just out. Just a great take by the batter. Liner in there for a base hit. Hey, there's a base hit to lead off the third inning. Talk about having a lot of traffic, d -Row. He's given up several hits already, so uh, he's been in the stretch most of the game. Yeah, no doubt about that, Dan. That is the name of the game for this offense. They're trying to get this guy in the stretch. Hopefully he misses over the heart of the plate like he's been doing so far up until this point. On to Rizzo, but a little slow in developing as they'll just get the one out. So that one wasn't quite hit sharply enough to turn two. Yeah, choppers like that make it really tough. You can't make the ball get to you much faster, so the key is making sure you field it cleanly and at least get one, which they did there. No balls in one strike. Runners on first with one down. And a curveball taken for strike two. Eaton is one of those prototypical left-handed bats that really excels against right-handed pitching. Sees the ball well coming from that side. The 0-2 delivery. Swing and a miss on the breaking pitch. Two away. Pretty textbook breaking ball for the punch out right there. Got it to bend a lot, and by the time it got there, it had fallen completely out of the zone. Not much you can do with that pitch. Into the box now, Kurt Suzuki. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. One for one as he reached base with a double his first time up. A ball and a strike to count to Suzuki. And that fastball's too much for him there. One and two. Hey, he's done an amazing job of settling down. Two innings ago, I thought they were going to run him out of here. But now he's close to posting two shutout innings as a response. Popped him up. Rizzo has a play. And that retires the side. Nationals leave one, but they lead it 3 nothing. Leading off for the Cubs. 
the first baseman, number 44. Infield shifted Infield. well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Here's a fly ball well hit. Eaton going back at the track, but he can't get it as it's off the wall. And he'll pull into second here with nobody out. So up until this point, they've had to bite the single thing, but he puts a good swing on this one and nearly knocks it out of the park. So we'll see if it's contagious and his partner can pick him up right here. And that brings up Javi Baez. He grounds it sharply to third. And a flip to first from Cabrera in time for the first down. Now back, left fielder, Kyle Warburg. Stepping in, Kyle Schwarber. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. From the stretch. Ball one. One, and oh. one out and a runner on second base. Runs outside, so it goes to 2 and 0 oh now. From the belt, kicks and deals down low, and the plot thickens here. Three and zero. Oh. Not a good spot to be in right now. Pitchers fall behind in the count with a guy up that hits really well with runners in scoring position. And that misses ball four, so it's first and second now with only one away. Well, he loses him there, but that's just the first walk he's given up, along with a couple of hits, so his command has been pretty solid so far. Ready for another chance? Victor Caratini, 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Here comes the first pitch. There's the cut fastball, but it's low, 1 and 0. Ball 1, no strike. From the belt, the pitch. And this one's in the dirt. Good job to corral this quickly as the runners hold on. Two well count, the pitch finds the zone, strike one. Two and two to the Cubs catcher. In the dirt here. And he'll hurry back to second here as he was wise to not push it that time. The three two pitch. Swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Now batting. Right field. So that'll bring up Jason Hayward. He's 0 for 1 thus far. He's set. Here it comes. Drilled to the right side. And a backhanded reach at first, but he can't flag it down. And a good throw will wind up holding that runner at third, so the bases become loaded now with two gone. He looked a little bit out in front right there, but he's able to pull that ground ball through the hole for a single. And here's a fastball called for strike one. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. Hit in the air, and this looks like it'll get him out of it. Robles is there as he makes the catch, and they'll tightrope out of danger as he strands the bases loaded. And back in our.